Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Today we're going to be doing more optional stuff and um, I don't think that I've had this blade ring equipped on David ever since I knocked it inside that pond. Um, I know I'm kind of an idiot, but <laughs> I just I just never realized that I was just disequipped. So anyway, today we're going to be doing more optional stuff as we just go transvestigating this entire southern ocean. Um, there's a lot of stuff down here that we can look at, that we can see. Um, somebody last time mentioned this small town of Luzami, so I do want to go there, and if you look at the map, I shouldn't have put it away so quickly, it's just to the southeast of Eliahan. Um, I imagine it's supposed to be something like Tierra del Fuego or something like that. It is south of South America, but, you know... They take liberties with these maps. It is what it is. Anyway, let's head on inside and uh, talk to some people. Hey there, lady. Oh. Oh. This reminds me... I don't remember the name of the town. Um, Zahan! Wasn't it Zahan? I think it was Zahan. Um, the town in Dragon Warrior 2 that was also teeny-weeny tiny, and it was just a little island out there in the middle of nothingness. I don't think... Any other Dragon Quest game does, like, a little island out in nothingness that has a town on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Simon owned the Gaia Sword. Huh. We'll have to keep that in mind. A lot of people here talk about this guy, Simon, actually. Before we talk to him, let's rob him blind. I do remember that small island in Dragon Quest V where the rich man lived, but that wasn't really a town. That was more of a villa. Both these books are useless as far as I'm concerned. Oh! Yikes! Oh, and Simon has the Gaia Sword. Hmm... Is that the same volcano that Ortega died on? What's this? This is different. There must be something there. Hey, there is a small metal. Perfect! Oh, what in the world? Huh. What's, uh, this thing? Hey there. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, this isn't Final Fantasy VI. The world is not square! Were you, like, banished here or something because of your crazy lunatic theories? Oh. Oh. Okay. Why not? We are in the middle of a transvestigation, so let's head on down there, um, which is essentially Greenland. In Dragon Warrior, for the NES, they called this island that we're going to Greenlad. Um, I don't know if they still call it that in this version. In fact, I don't think that anybody actually mentioned what the name of this island is that we're going to here. Looking on the map, it is up here. It is to the north of North America. It's not exactly in the spot where Greenland is, but it's eh, it's close enough. It's kind of like Luzami being Cheryl del Fuego. It's close enough. Huh. How unusual. Thanks, game. One step off the frickin' boat. So let's go on inside. And yeah, he wasn't kidding. This is a big field. Um, you want to head north and then a little bit to the east, and we'll come across this house right here. And, of course, let's rob him blind. Hey, small metal. Awesome. Ooh, a silk hat. No one can equip that, though. I want to say it's thief and jester only. The pirates? Oh, we actually just robbed them blind the other day, too. Strange bone. The chain staff? Actually, I have heard about the chain staff. Oh, and you want it. Hmm. But where is the chain staff? Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Oh, okay, it's in Sim S Samanosa? Yeah, through a traveler's door. Hmm, well, thank God I have the final key. We've actually taken the traveler's door to Samanosa earlier, when I was just kind of like going on a little travel door extravaganza. You know, oh, want to make sure I'm tiptoeing. I... I don't mind random encounters, I just hate them in the ocean. Whenever I'm like really trying to go somewhere or do something or get someplace, like I just don't want to be bothered by them. They just 
bother me. Oh, we have a King Squid here. I believe that the King Squid is the most powerful um, monster in the ocean that, that we can actually fight right now. So I don't know if we've seen it before, but I figured I'll just show him off. Whatever it is, what it is. Who, who really cares? And down he goes. This ocean crabis is actually a lot easier than um, some of the other crabs that we've seen. So where are we now? Okay, I know where we're at. Huh. Let's go over here. Oh! Well, looky here. What's this? Oh, it's like a snowy shrine. How cute. You guys aren't Baramos's familiars? Oh, are you? Whoa! <laughs> okay. The area between the four mountains. Hmm. Oh! Really? Cool. Well, what's the truth? That he didn't die falling into the volcano? Hmm. Okay, so this random ass cat says to go and check between four mountains. Oh, wait, there's a mountain. Huh. Let's get right underneath that mountain. And let's see if I can. I wonder if this actually works. Let me just look. No, it doesn't work. Um, let's see. So if you look here, there's another mountain. Whoa! Oh, yes, baby! Uh, let's go after these metalies. Whoa! Sweet! Okay, so here's the deal with the bomb crags. The bomb crags are actually one of the best enemies in the entire game to grind on earlier in the game. Remember, I, I, I talked about grinding a while back. It was whenever I was grinding up to get to the um, to the pyramid. I was like level 11 or something, and I wanted to grind to level 16 for that pyramid. And I told you that there is an area to the east of Kazav, and it has a different monster set. And there's like grizzly bears over there. There is, um, damn it. There is like these little witches over there. There's Executioners over there, which are also kind of easy to fight as well. Um, but there's also Bomb Crags, and it's actually a pretty, um, a pretty easy fight and a pretty common fight to fight four Bomb Crags. And the Bomb Crags don't do jack shit. All they do is sit here and assess the situation. Except after about maybe like 10 or so turns go by, then they'll actually do something. Whenever I mean do something, I mean kill you. They will cast um, Sacrifice and just destroy you. So you want to kill them as fast as humanly possible. It's a great, great grinding spot. You literally just head due east of Kazav and you'll run into it. So let's see, there's a mountain down there. Then there should be some more mountains uh, to the left and the right. I just want to, okay. I hate finding this stupid thing. Where is it? It should be right around here somewhere. Come on. Aha! Yes! We get the Yggdrasil leaf, which is the leaf of the world tree. Yeah, there's the other mountain. There's another mountain on the other side, too. Really? Wow, this is kind of ridiculous. So, hey, if you guys want a good grinding spot, come over here. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But, um... Yeah, okay, so so, so, the, so the Yggdrasil leaf is the leaf of the world tree in every other game, or the, at least the, the NES versions of the game. And it works as a revival item. Um, you can only use it one time. There's only one in the game. Oh, we actually have some uh, some new enemies. Grizzlies and Barnabuses. Uh, let's see, we'll have Kringle. You can use Blaze most, or Blaze more, whatever. whatever. Oh, wow, he died in one hit? Who knew? These Grizzlies also appear in that grinding area that I was talking about. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the Leaf of the World Tree. Once you use it... Um, another leaf of the world tree will appear in that same spot between those four mountains. So just keep that in mind. Uh-oh, yikes! These are the magic hags! They're horrible. I hate them. They will pretty much sit there and cast a firebane on your entire party, dealing like 40-something damage to everyone. It sucks. Especially if you're trying to grind and you're only level 11. 
Yeah. You know what? Let's actually... I want to tidy up my items. Um, I've, I want to do that earlier. But I also want to show you something else in the tactics menu. You can use the restore tactic. And basically, it'll use the person with the most amount of MP to heal everybody in your party the most efficiently or in the most efficient manner. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, let's continue sailing along. And I actually want to see if I can't show you something um, in this little ring of mountains. Yeah, there's a castle up there, but it's ringed by those mountains and we can't get to it. So, yeah, it's just something to keep in mind for later. Oh, a cave and another shrine down there. Yeah, um, the monster groupings kind of get screwy here. Like, these are monsters from Kazav over here, and I just fought, like, more old hags. That shrine we'll keep in mind for later, but we can go ahead and check out... Oh, but cheesy music. No, it's not the place. Um, I was at the place, though, but over here, there is a place for... Hey! Hey! Some hidden items. Awesome. Get a cheesy ticket. And then what was it? It was over here, I think. Where was it? Was it here? Really? Really game? Where the hell is this damn thing? Hey, the small metal. Perfect. Okay, and let's talk to you. Why not? Three different directions. Path is the easiest. Hmm. I wonder where the hidden treasure is around here, because you know that there is one. So as you're going through here, I'm going to see the obvious that I'm sure you guys can see. It's a swastika. Yeah, I know. And I know that it has a different meaning in Japan and blah, 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 and the Nazis twisted it and all this and that, but the other, it bothers me. The end. It freaking bothers me. I don't want to see a swastika in my game. It bothers me. This is the second freaking swastika I've seen. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Sure. I mean, I'm still gonna do the, the track, of course, but hey. And of course, save states. So I actually want what is in that pot right there, so I wanna roll a three. Um, I'm not gonna be going for all of the treasure because as a swastika, there are multiple paths. Um, and I only want to take one path. Yeah, this is why I don't show the uh, saves coming on screen, because it's just ridiculous. The one path that I want to take has the best treasures. Um, come on, how long does this take? So I'm just going to show you what I believe is the best route through here. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, I'm like, I'm over this. Hey, yeah, I know, all that saves coming just for a strength seed, but hey, whatever. I mean, I'm buy it anyway, might as well. Now, this chest of drawers that I didn't land in has a turban, and that's completely useless as far as I'm concerned. A oh, full moon herb, also completely useless as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, ooh, awesome. Get another dice roll, perfect. And let's see. Now, okay, you want to take the right-hand path here. You can choose other paths, um, but they don't have the good items, and I want the good items. Sure. Ah, right, some useless gold, whatever. So down here in this chest of drawers... Oh, hell, I want another three. Come on. Um, it has a silver barrette. Oh, thank God, I got it on the second try. And the silver barrette is actually... a pretty nice piece of headgear, and I'm going to be giving that one to Kringle. Okay, so, oh, I also wanted to say this. In the Game Boy Color version of the game, um, this, this was not shaped as a swastika. Um, damn it. I mean, it like, it kinda sorta was. They changed it just a teeny tiny bit in order to make it not a swastika, but it's like ever so slightly. So anybody who knew what you were looking for would know exactly what it was. Uh, what do I want? I want a four here. Oh, actually, no, I 
Um, eh, I got the four, whatever. I was gonna, I was just looking at my list, and this is something that I really don't care about. It's a party dress. I think this is like my third party dress, so yeah, I haven't been using them. I don't want it. It is what it is. Oh, five. What is that gonna mean? Ooh, the treasure! Perfect! Something actually works out right for me. And I got a magical skirt, which really isn't all that hot. Um, everybody can equip it though, so that's kind of nice. Ooh. And I do want this pot. Hey, got that one. Perfect. Sweet. Get the, uh, another small metal there. And I think that that's the last... Tr Fuck. Yeah, that's the last treasure that I want. Because this chest... Um. Oh, well, you'll actually get to see what it has. Hey, look at that. An assassin dagger. That's my second assassin dagger, where it's just like the poison needle, where it can instantly kill an enemy, but it actually has some sort of attack power with it. I think it's like 25% or 25 attack power, um, whereas the poison needle has like, I don't know, one. <laughs> one attack power. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I only have four rolls left, man. Uh-oh. Doinks! Okay, that's fine. I only have three rolls left. Hopefully, if I can get... Oh, no. Hell no. If, if I can get the um, the four that I need, I should be fine. Because, again, if you get a five or a six, it's going to push you back, which you don't want. You don't want to be pushed back and forth and then end up losing the game because you ran out of rolls or whatever. So, um, man, playing this on the console, what an effort and frustration that would be. Good lord. No wonder they gave you so many tickets. Man, you'd have to go through this thing 20 times to get all the treasures that you wanted. Or to even reach the goal if you, like, ran out of rolls and stuff, you know? Ooh, the real reason why I went through here, the Dragon Tail! An upgraded whip. Awesome. And an agility seed. I'm still not using seeds. I'll let you know whenever I use seeds. Okay. Did not want to do that, but sure. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. So this magical skirt, yeah, it's only one defense point better than the leather kilt that I have on some people. Um, and I want to give it to David and Ken because their defense is kind of bad. You would think that the fighter's defense would be lower, but it's not. So let's go ahead and um, actually just equip this on David. There we go. Um, let's see what else I want. What else did I get? Okay, the silver barrette. Let's go ahead and give this one to Kringle. Yeah, I know, but it's it's a 10-point boost. He has the most defense, but it's a 10-point boost. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's see what else we got going on here. The Dragon Tail. Yeah. Look at that boost. Look at that boost. Whoa, baby. But there, I want to go ahead and give it to David right now. Um, the Blader Ring, it's kind of falling to the wayside right now. And I like having my hero being able to attack big groups of monsters right now. Nobody else can use that blader ring. Might as well just throw it in the bag there. And I believe that that's everything that I wanted to do here. So, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3, we are going to continue our transvestigation. Looking around, um, there's an area in Lancel that we need to go to. And we'll head there next time. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.